Hello there, welcome to Project Symboid. Today I'll be using the Lifestyle mod. This essentially turns our Project Zomboid gameplay into The Sims. Our protagonist for this video will be Jim Johnson, a pretty uh, uninspiring fellow, we'll call him who doesn't really have too many stats. Now that the zombie apocalypse has kicked off, he's suddenly decided that he wants to turn his life around and has a plan. Jim has three things that he wants to accomplish in this apocalypse. He wants to one, find a job, two, start a family, and three, max out at least one skill. He currently has absolutely no skills in anything at the moment, so this is gonna be a real mission. I will show you guys a little bit more of the mods and everything and how it works as we progress. For now, let's just try and get a few of the basics that we need. Uh, for some reason, we have uh, spawned into the police station, so I don't know what Jim was up to, but it kind of makes sense why he announced to turn his life around. Okay, we found plenty of cigarettes, although uh, Jim isn't a smoker, so I don't know how useful these will be. Oh, Jim has found some crack. He will take that. This may be a Sims video, but some things will never change on this channel. Now, I feel like it'd be cheating to stay here. I am going to quickly check the changing rooms to see if there's a bag. However, I won't be taking any armor. Right, hopefully there's a backpack in there. Nope, but there is a fanny pack patrol there. Uh, we have found a nightstick. Okay guess we'll take that. Okay, I think that'll do, Jim. He has his fanny pack and his nightstick. Let's push out. Right, I think first and foremost, Jim should get himself a job. That's a nice base to start his new life. Okay, well, despite us spawning in at the police station, the welcome party has still come to say hello. Let's see if they've got any gifts for us as well. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, they did only come with a bulletproof vest. I don't think it'd be sensible to wear that when we uh, have a job interview today. We will take this clip-on tie. That does seem very sensible. Uh, I'll take this diamond ring for later as well. Very nice. Oh, there is a key over here. Perfect. We have a car to take to our job. Let's go and see what job we can get ourselves. Considering we're an unemployed man with very few skills, I think we need to lower our expectations and maybe see if we can get a job at Spiffo's. So we will try and get our first job here. Oh, I hope they don't look at my parking. Are you guys here for the job interview as well? Well, I must take you out. Only I can have this job. Ooh, that is a nice suit. I think I might take this for my interview. Right, we all look much smarter with this suit on. I think I'll keep on the shorts. We look nice and unique like this. Ooh, this gold ring. I'll take that for later. Oh, no. Oh, well, this interview is really not going to plan already. Can I still get the job? Please? Is there anyone here? Oh, no. Okay, you know what? I, there doesn't seem to be a boss here, so I think I will take the position. I will take my Spiffo apron. Thank you very much. Well, I guess my first shift isn't today. That must be the uh, the crew for today. I'll, uh, I'll come back tomorrow for my first day. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm glad I'm not working today. It's very busy. We have our nice Spiffo apron. I'll take that as uh, mission number one is achieved. We now have a job. We work at Spiffo's. Oh, wow. This must be rush hour. Well, I'd love to stay in chat, but I uh, I do need to get on with the rest of my challenges. Now that we've achieved mission number one, I think I want to raid the bookstore because we could really do uh, with some books to work on those skills of ours. Ooh, there are a few people in the bookstore already. Okay. And it turns out the baton isn't enough to ooh, break in. Shit. Okay, nice. Right, let's take everything we can from here. Okay, we're going to take every volume one book that we can take. We do need to find one specifically that we want to work on, though. So we'll have to... Uh work that out as we go along. Ooh, dancing. I wouldn't mind learning to dance. Okay, I think we'll grab some food supplies as well from across the road. Hello there. I'm new to the neighbourhood. How are you? Okay, let's take some cheese. We do love cheese. Oh, so do you. More cheese and more milk. Lovely. Oh, you have a Spiffo shirt. Lovely. I just started working there more cheese. Right, I think we should find a little home to base up in. Now, I don't want anything too extravagant. I like something just nice and comfy, you know, just the right size for me. So, uh, let's try and get ourselves a lovely apartment above the bookstore. Okay, it's very quiet around here. Let's, uh, see if there's an apartment available. Well, this one is open, and it has a TV. I think this would be perfect for us. Oh, we do have some books here as well. Uh, that's nice. Now, I am looking a little bit worse for wear. I think I should go and clean myself up a little bit. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have a nice little bath. Prepare a bubble bath. Lovely. 
nice little bubble bath. This too would be my reaction after killing many zombies outside. Well, we're feeling luxuriously comfortable and we're spotlessly clean. Nice, we're really taking care of our little sim, aren't we? Now, let's get changed back into our lovely outfit. Okay, let's uh, change up our appearance a little bit. My god, this is so cool. Uh, we don't have any hair dye on us, and we don't have any scissors. Okay, uh, that's a problem, actually. I think I'm going to make a start on Mechanics Volume 1. Let's try and power through these books a little bit. And lovely, there's a little exposure survival TV show on by a lovely gentleman called Dean. Let's enjoy learning to fish. Okay, and we've already learned how to fish a little bit. I'm just going to power through absolutely all of our Volume 1 books tonight. Okay, I think I want to see if my neighbours have a, uh, a razor or some scissors that I can borrow. Okay, I don't have any neighbours next door. It's a good job we took the furnished apartment. It must have been the former showroom one. Okay, anything here for us? Oh, fuck! Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to step in here. I didn't think this place was occupied. Now, uh, you don't have a razor I can borrow. I'll uh, I'll just leave you to use the bathroom. My apologies for that. Oh, if you don't mind, I will borrow some of your cheese as well. We are a big fan. Okay, only two more apartments to check. Luckily, no one in this bathroom. Oh, there is a tape. I guess I'll borrow this and bring it back later. Oh, a hiking bag. Uh, I guess you don't need this. I'll take this with me. Tell you what, I know it's late, but let's see if the hairdressers is open tonight. Here we are. Let's have a little look inside, Shall we? Oh, it's locked. Let me see if the back door's open. Oh! Oh, I do apologise. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ever so sorry. Uh, why did you bite me though, sir? That's kind of weird. Bit my hand. Strange fella. Fair a handshake myself, personally. Why do we now have a bandage on a head and not a hand? Hmm. Okay, we've got some blonde hair dye. I guess we can take that. There's a comb as well. Some hairspray. I guess we'll take that. I hope they don't mind me borrowing all these supplies. Ooh, a light brown hair dye as well. Hmm. Black hair dye. Okay, we've got a few options here. Green hair dye. Okay, now we're talking. Some hair gel. Lovely. Some more crack as well. Very nice. This is my kind of hairdressers. And a razor. Perfect. Ooh. Ooh, red hair dye and some scissors. Perfect. We have everything we need to look smart for tomorrow. It's time to uh, work on our style a little bit. Tell you what, I think we'll suit a little bit of green hair. And you know what? We'll go for a red beard. Lovely. I think we'll go for some sensible dreadlocks. They'll be perfect for work. And a lovely little moustache. Beautiful. Look at us. Perfectly ready for work tomorrow. Would you look at this? We found a lovely little pet to join our home. You will come back home with us, Stuart Little. What a great day we've had. I think it's time that we get a nice early night at 10 past 12 uh, so we're ready and refreshed for work tomorrow oh i can set my outfits i didn't realize this there we go we'll get into our pajamas for bed well we have a big day tomorrow let's get some rest uh, i think we'll start the day with some cheese nice right so we are running late for our shift let's quickly head back over to spiffo's oh Wow, it is incredibly busy. Okay, let's uh, go and start our shift, I guess. Ooh, okay. This is a little bit nerve-wracking. I didn't expect this many customers. Ooh, God, 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 God. Okay. I don't know if I can handle this job. I might need the day off. I'm feeling a little bit sick. Okay, wow. Oh, shit. Okay, well, uh, yeah, sorry, boss. I'm not feeling too well today. I think I'm going to have to call in sick. Let's uh, see you again, I don't know, sometime next week? Yeah, that works for me. Yeah, like I said, really, really bad cough. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I really do think I need to go home. Um, if my car would start, that'd be lovely. Oh, yeah, sorry. All the best. Woo! God, I think they fell for it. Okay, well, I think I want to go shopping today. Uh, I think we've earned it after our hard 10 minutes at work. Right, let's have a little look in this clothes store, I think. Oh, we do need the toilet. We should be quick. Oh, my God. Who are you? Stephanie. Yeah, I couldn't think of a better name. Stephanie, you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. I, I can't rush this because zombies are coming to kill me, but will you be with me as my wife? She said yes. Come with me. Yeah, mate. Stephanie, I'm here to save you. Let's get out of here. We must protect Stephanie. Let's take care of these zombies. Oh, shit. No, 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 Stephanie. Let's run. Run, Stephanie. Run. We're okay, Stephanie. Okay, we're fine. It's only a little cut. Come here. Let's take Stephanie back to her new home. There we are, Stephanie. Welcome to our lovely home. God, you're going to be so happy here. We're going to have such a good life together. Jim and Stephanie. What a couple. Now, if you don't mind, Stephanie, I need a shit. There we go. I won't be too long, Stephanie. Uh, I hope you don't mind me leaving the door open. 
Very nice. Well, I think we uh, we need another bubble bath after that uh, incredibly stressful morning. Ah, oh, lovely. What a hard day. It's nearly nine o'clock in the morning. It's been very busy. Okay, why are you not putting your clothes back on? Okay, I don't know what happened to our clothes, but they've seemingly disappeared. Oh, no, all of our clothes have gone in here. That's interesting. Stephanie, I have a present for you. I've got us a pet. Meet Stuart. He's our lovely little rat. God, I think step two is completed, guys. We have a lovely little family. The only thing we have left to achieve now is to max out one of our skills. Taking a quick look at our skills, I need to decide what we're going to be most interested in. A lot of these are very useful, you know, learning to do carpentry, first aid, metalwork, mechanics, but I think our true passion is dancing and this is what I want to work on. Right, I think we're going to try and practice our new dance skills. Here we go. We're going to bust some moves for the rest of the evening. Let's see how quick this actually goes up. Let's try some arm waving now. Okay, well, our dancing skill doesn't seem to be going up much. Well, dancing isn't working, so I'm afraid, Stephanie, I'm going to have to leave you to go and find out a new hobby. I'll be back soon, my love. Ooh, let's have some more cheese before we go. Okay, maybe I'll have a look at some of the houses in the neighbourhood. Just see if we can find any items of interest. Ooh, a red electric bass guitar. You know what? That is coming home with me. We are going to become the greatest guitarist this planet has ever seen. Technically, we will be the best on the planet because we're the only one left. Let's take these shell suit trousers as well. Lovely. Okay, let's go say hello to Stephanie. Hello Stephanie, hello Stuart, how are my two favourite people? Uh, I think I'll quickly take these shrooms. Now we are in our rock attire, I think it's time that we practice using this guitar. Now I hope he knows this isn't how you're supposed to hold a guitar, uh, that's a worrying start. Let's do a little lullaby to Stephanie. Damn, we're actually kind of good. Uh, we probably could do with a music book, actually. We are struggling a little bit here. Okay, we managed to catch a bit of farming with Dean. That was nice. Uh, I think we're going to uh, treat ourselves to all of this red wine. Nice. Would you like a little bit of wine with me, Stephanie? No? Okay, I'll finish the bottle. Don't you worry. Let's have a little look. Now, we did find some makeup. What can we do with ourselves? Okay, this makeup seems kind of fitting for us. God, what a life. I wrote this one for you, Stephanie. And you, Stuart. I hope you enjoy. It turns out maxing out our skills is a little bit hard, so I think it's time that we replace our third objective with a new one. So I think Jim here wants to change his final objective. He wants to marry the love of his life, Stephanie. Now you may remember from earlier, he collected two rings, which, where the fuck are the rings? Okay, bear with me, Stephanie. This is not very smooth. Now inside of Jim's fanny pack, he keeps two items, two golden rings. This he'll unpack and he put down his awesome bass guitar, which he's really good at and he's definitely not an amateur at using. Now, because I can't exactly uh, get on one knee, I'm just going to wave at Stephanie and that is my signal to propose. Stephanie, will you take this ring? Yes, she took the ring. And for me, this gold ring, I'll wear this on my left ring finger. I'll sit on the ground. Stephanie, you've made me the happiest bloke on the planet. Uh, uh, we are now married. Is that how weddings work? I, I don't really know. Well, now we are happily married. Let me play you a little ballad as an ap appreciation. God, what the fuck is this video? It's been an interesting little story with Jim, Stephanie and Stuart Little. Jim has managed to find the job that he wanted, an apartment, a wife and a child. Life is pretty good. And now he puts all of his effort into his new passion, learning to play the bass guitar. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like. You know, do subscribe if you want to see more Project Zomboid content. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and goodbye, everyone.